Amsam <laughs> moved through his football drills one step at a time, feeling the grass shift gently beneath his shoes with every turn. The afternoon carried a soft heat that grew gradually around him, warming his face and arms. <laughs> As he sprinted forward, his breathing grew heavier, sending huh? warm air repeatedly across his tongue. Sweat gathered along his hairline, forming tiny droplets that moved slowly toward his jaw. When he paused for a moment to reset his stance, he felt a faint dryness settling inside his mouth. A thin, papery huh? feeling that made him swallow more often. Each swallow felt slightly slower than the last. Huh? Even the breeze that touched his face felt warm, drying the edges of his lips. As he stood there, sensing each of these small changes, a gentle question surfaced naturally inside him. Why do we get thirsty? So, let's help Aum Sum solve this question. Why do we get thirsty? The human body is made up of a large amount of water, which helps regulate temperature, transport nutrients, support chemical reactions, and keep organs working efficiently. Because water is constantly used, lost, or redistributed within the body, it must be replaced regularly. The first place where the need for water is detected is deep inside the brain, within a region called the hypothalamus. It keeps track of how much water is present in the blood and tissues. When the body begins to lose water through breathing, sweating, or normal chemical activities, the blood becomes slightly more concentrated. This concentration is sensed by special cells in the hypothalamus known as osmoreceptors. These cells are very sensitive and notice even the smallest changes in water balance. When they detect that the body's fluids are becoming too concentrated, they send signals that create the feeling of thirst. The hormone system becomes involved too. When the body needs more water, the hypothalamus instructs the pituitary gland to release a hormone called vasopressin. This hormone travels through the bloodstream to the kidneys, signaling them to conserve water instead of releasing it as urine. This process slows down water loss while the person finds and drinks more fluid. Food also influences thirst. Salty foods increase the concentration of sodium in the bloodstream. When this concentration rises, the osmoreceptors detect the imbalance and create the feeling of thirst to help dilute the excess salt. Dry foods can also stimulate thirst indirectly by drawing water into the digestive system to help break them down.